The world is filled with millions of species of animals. Some of them are quite harmless, quietly living their lives while some of them are just downright dangerous and sometimes very aggressive. Today we're going to be looking at 10 of the most dangerous animals that you should honestly run away from. Make sure you stay tuned and stay away from number one. The number of fatalities these animals cause is simply staggering. Number 10. Sharks. Okay, so technically you can't run away from this thing, but hey, you could swim pretty fast, I suppose. It's up to you, really. We're not talking about an individual species of shark here, though. We're lumping the entire family in as a whole. Movies and media are often spreading the picture of sharks as being ferocious killers that eat and destroy everything that comes in their way. But it's quite exaggerated that many shark species are harmless to humans. Except for some, like the tiger shark. You see, each year there are around 75 shark attacks, whereas most arise from a misunderstanding that a surfer looks similar to seals. However, only 10 out of these attacks result in the death of the victim. With that said, of course, sharks, especially the great white and bull sharks and tiger sharks, are incredibly powerful predators that should always be respected. However, for at least two out of three of them, they don't really see humans as food. I'll give you a guess who does see you as food. So if you're scared of sharks, don't think of them as monsters killing thousands of people each year because that is simply not true. Although that really shouldn't encourage you to go and pet one. Number 9. Ants. It's quite counterintuitive to think that ants are more dangerous animals than sharks, but the fact is that they are. In fact, ants are about three times as deadly as sharks. Where sharks cause the average of 10 fatalities yearly, ants cause about 30 every year. One particular species to take note of is the bulldog ant. This red, angry-looking variety of ant is one of the largest and most aggressive species of ants on the planet. They have large mandibles and venomous stings that in humans can cause intense pain, the worst of any insect sting that can last for several days. They're so aggressive that whenever this ant is cut in half, the head and tail will actually fight and try to kill each other. I suppose that gives new meaning to the I'll kick anyone's butt, even my own. Another ant worth mentioning is the bullet ant. They are known to have one of the most painful stings. It's found in South America and is also known as the 24-hour ant because of the pain you feel for up to 24 hours after being stung. Some victims even describe being stung by this ant as painful as being shot with a bullet, hence the name. Number 8. Bees and wasps. You shouldn't go near them. Next number. Number... What? Fine. In truth, bees and wasps should have landed higher on our list of the most dangerous animals in the world. The problem is, nobody in the world is actively keeping track of fatalities attributed to them. In the US alone, 50 people per year succumb to bee and wasp attacks. For all we know, that number could balloon to 500 if we include worldwide attacks. Case in point is the Japanese giant hornet. Every year, up to 40 deaths are recorded by the sting of Japanese hornets. The venom of Japanese hornets would cause an allergic reaction and dissolve tissues within the shortest time. The repeated singing from the group of hornets could also result in a very, very painful death. Japanese hornets are very aggressive and they're fearless. One hornet alone is more than capable of dispatching 40 individual bees by all its lonesome. However, guess what? These guys rarely operate alone. Each colony of Japanese hornets contains up to 700 members and they feed on honeybee larvae to a significant amount. Yeah, that's right. These things eat bees, the other thing that could sting you. They eat it for breakfast. Number 7. Deer. Okay, seriously, follow me on this one, please. You wouldn't think it, but deer are actually pretty dangerous creatures. Oh, what's that you don't believe me? Well, guess what? The yearly worldwide average of deer-related fatalities is at least 300 people. <laughs> I guess you won't look at Bambi the same anymore. But how come these normally docile and adorable creatures be the cause of so many deaths? Well, deer have horns. And you might think that this would be the main cause of human fatalities. But no, that's very wrong. Yes, admittedly, there have been recorded cases of fatal deer horn impalement, but that's very rare and far in between. In fact, the latest one being a man in Arkansas who was gored to death by a deer he shot and thought it was already dead only in October of this year. With that said, the vast majority of deer-related fatalities happen when deer cross the road, usually at dusk or at dawn. Couple that with a sleepy driver, then we have a definite recipe for disaster. In the US alone, over 150 cases are reported each year of people running over deer on the highway, with very tragic results. Number 6. Elephants. 
Okay, yeah, this one makes a bit more sense. Again, much like deer, elephants would be the last animals you would think could be dangerous to humans because generally they're viewed as big, dopey little animals. When you think of an elephant, you probably think of them as kind, gigantic, intelligent, majestic creatures who never forget. Well, the thing is, because they're so large and so smart, they pose more of a danger to us than you would think. Elephants will attack if they are injured, or if they feel threatened, or peck if they just feel like it. That one scene from Dumbo where Dumbo's mother protects him from those kids is really inaccurate. There should be a lot more bloodshed and body parts. And because they're so big, if they do decide to attack, most of the time the results will be fatal. While doing research for this video, I myself was quite surprised to find out that over 500 fatalities are caused by raging elephant attacks every year. Most of these incidents are caused by elephant bulls who were cast out of the herd, making them all sorts of crazy. Or, you know, by overprotective mothers with calves. I guess that one's a little more understandable. In one instance, a 44-year-old man working as an elephant keeper was attacked by a cow elephant when he tripped over a foot chain while the animal was being medically treated. This poor man fell down and was consequently repeatedly attacked with elephant tusks. The man sustained multiple stab injuries to both groin regions, a penetrating injury to the abdominal wall with traumatic prolapse of the loops of the small bowel, multiple defects of the mesentery, and incomplete laceration of the abdominal aorta with massive bleeding into the abdominal cavity. In addition to these penetrating injuries, the man sustained multiple rib fractures with contusion of both lungs and laceration of the right lobe of the liver, as well as community fractures of the pelvic arch and left femoral body. For those of us not familiar with medical terms, that just means a whole lot of bad right there. The man died shortly after he had been received at the hospital, sadly. Number 5. Hippos. The hippo is considered by many as one of the most dangerous animals in the world, and the locals in Africa claim that hippos kill more people than crocodiles, lions, elephants, and cheetahs combined. They are the third largest land mammal on Earth after the elephant and the rhinoceros. Their closest relatives are whales, from which they diverged about 55 million years ago. They're semi-aquatic, inhabiting rivers, lakes, and mangrove swamps. They also spend the day submerged in river mud and can come out of dust to graze on grass. They eat over 100 pounds of vegetation a day, oh, and they can easily kill a crocodile. Yeah, they didn't expect that part. The thing is, there are no reliable sources that can confirm the rumor, but there are lots of evidence that suggests there were at least 500 deaths related to hippos each year. And that number could potentially be a lot higher. Their massive jaws could easily crush a human if they wanted to, and there have been documented cases of hippos just suddenly deciding to attack a human. Marius Ells had a pet hippo, which he had had since it was just a few months old. The hippo seemed tame, allowing Els to hand feed it and even swim with it. Then one day, an ambulance was called out to Els' home and they found him covered with multiple hippo bites. Apparently, the hippo just suddenly attacked him and pulled him underwater. He was pronounced DOA in the hospital, but I have no idea what happened to that killer hippo. Number 4. Crocodiles. A prehistoric animal that has survived tens of thousands of years with ancestors predating the dinosaurs. The crocodile is certainly one of the world's most dangerous animals in name. It's a real killer machine with powerful jaws, speed, and a tough body that can endure most. Except for hippos. Why are hippos above the croc anyway? Unfortunately, the larger species of crocodiles don't have a problem seeing humans as their prey, and the reason for crocodiles not killing more people is likely because we know of the dangers and try to stay away as much as possible. The movie Lake Placid taught me well to avoid all of these. Or is that an alligator? I don't know. Either way, it was scary. There actually was a case of a crocodile seemingly preferring to attack people. In the Philippines, three people were said to be attacked and eaten by the same crocodile on different times. It started with a 12-year-old girl who was attacked while she was crossing a river, quickly followed two months later when her uncle was ripped to shreds. Then, finally, a man disappeared and was rumored to be attacked by the same crocodile. A few days later, a crocodile was spotted clutching a severed human arm in its jaws. The number of deaths attributed to them is about a thousand a year, but it could also be higher considering that most crocodiles live in non-developed countries with poor population and lack of official records. If you want a real crocodile horror story, look up Gustav the Crocodile. That guy's still around and actually hunts humans who try to hunt him. Number 3. Dogs. Again, another unlikely entry into our list of the world's most dangerous animals, but man's best friend can also be man's worst enemy. Would you believe me if I tell you that the dog causes more fatalities every year than all of our previous entries combined? Well, you should. As dog-related fatalities reach a staggering 24,000 every single year. 
it's not that dogs kill people directly, although some dog breeds are certainly able to do so. Most reported fatalities are due to rabies, which is transmitted to humans when an infected dog bites a human. Rabies is very deadly, and although a vaccine is readily available, there are still a lot of fatalities because symptoms can lie dormant for years before they act up. And when they do, it's often too late, resulting in death. One problem with dogs is that they decide to attack you, running away from them is simply not an option, as most of these guys can outrun a full-grown human. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Today we'll be looking at an animal whose looks alone will make you run in the opposite direction. Number 2. Centipedes Looking more like creatures from another planet rather than native to Earth, centipedes are truly terrifying creatures. There's an estimated 8,000 kinds of centipedes worldwide, but only 3,000 of them have been fully described. Even so, the sheer terror with these guys inspiring people are more often than not to send someone in a panic, and with good reason. Although centipede bites are rarely fatal, they do hurt. Some have even been compared to being shot. But still, that shouldn't be enough to make a fully grown man run away, right? Well, modern centipedes might not make you run for it, but they have an ancestor that will certainly do the job. Arthropora was an 8.5 foot long millipede from the Carboniferous era. And though it was herbivorous, likely feeding on dead plant matter like modern millipedes, it still has a pretty big scare factor. Just because it won't try to eat you doesn't prevent it from being creepy while it scuttles about. Fossil trackways have been discovered showing that Arthropleura could move and maneuver quickly, undulating hundreds of legs in rhythm to nauseate and disturb anyone watching. These are the largest known land invertebrates of all time, and it is unlikely that they had any predators, but it could probably rear up into a defensive posture and look you straight in the eyes. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really worked. Number 1. Snakes. Oh, it had to be snakes. Venomous snakes and anacondas are definitely some of the most dangerous animals in the world, which is easily noted by the number of deaths per year related to snake bites. Current estimations are around 50,000 deaths a year, but that number could very well be higher considering that many of the most dangerous snakes live in non-developed countries with poor population and lack of healthcare and official records. With that said, the number of deaths by snakes is not specific to one species, but rather spread out among all snake species. And there are countless, countless of snakes that could kill humans. Just as there are countless of snakes that are harmless. Which dangerous animal would you definitely run away from? Let us know in the comment section below. Want to watch more videos about dangerous animals and the dangers they pose? Click on any of the videos you see on the screen. As always, thanks for watching everybody, and I hope you have a great day, and I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.